Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I wanna discuss another new product that I've had a lot of requests for. And this is my new plugged cables. And what a plugged cable simply is, is it's got the spindle plug already mounted so that basically the hard work of the cable has been completed. Uh, the opposite end of the cable is bare. And the main reason I'm building these now is because I've had a lot of potential and past clients request for a cheaper version of my assembled spindle cables. Well, this uh, mitigates the cost of doing both ends and it allows you guys to still have a cable properly assembled on one end and you guys can complete the other end, which again, requires usually a lot less skill because again, we're just terminalizing um, the actual cable as far as ring terminals. Um, again, this is my new DS Flexion. You can see here, this is one of the most sought after connectors that I get questions about. This is an HY large uh, white connector, typical known as ceramic. Um, these connectors have all been treated when you purchase them from me with the Oxa Gold, okay? Assemble Kester solder and flux, Kester 186 uh, flux, Kester 44 solder, we use uh, overlapping double wall heat shrink here for rigidity. This is extremely rigid. And then you can see right here where it actually forms a boot and it's sealed, okay? This is the proper way naturally to assemble these cables. Um, but again, if you're looking to save some money and use what I feel is probably gonna be the best overall value you can get as far as uh, ultra flex cable, the DS flexion with this connector installed is basically a turnkey package for those that want to install the other end of the spindles ring connectors for inter integration into their VFD, okay? Um, I'll put links in the description, you can check them out. And again, factor in that this cable does feature a 10 million flex cycle rating. The MBR is on the cable, which is minimum bend radius. And again, you can review the ad for it. You can see everything about it. I mean, I'm really, really trying to keep up with orders right now because it is really moving quickly. But these are something I've had uh, requests for for some time, and I feel that it will help a lot of you out. Um, I'm still getting, I'm gonna post in this video uh, uh, an actual horror story in terms of what a client basically received in purchasing a spindle cable from another vendor. Okay, guys, in this video excerpt, I just wanted to make it very clear, abundantly clear, that I'm still receiving many emails uh, like this one containing pictures of work from other vendors selling pre-made spindle cables. You can see here this, this amazing work that was done using electrical tape, which is terrifying. Um, and supposedly selling these on whatever venue they're going on, whether it be, I believe, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Forums, all over the internet, they're popping up. Guys, please be careful. Um, this email was received by a past client of mine. I'm just gonna leave his last name out. His name is James. I'm hiding all personal information with Microsoft Word box here, but I'm just gonna read the remaining portion of the email because he does disclose the vendor. Selling HY spindles and inverters pre-programmed for about $1,000. Thought you'd get a kick out of his custom cables. Almost a year since you built mine and zero issues. Thanks again. I'll be ordering next spring another cable for the bigger machine. Um, again, I always appreciate continued support from all of you guys. I love that. And anything I can do to help you, I look forward to. Um, but this is terrifying. When I see stuff like this, and many of you who are getting involved with CNC don't realize these are three-phase cables. This is frightening. If you ever receive a cable that looks like this, whether it be one end or both ends, immediately contact the vendor and, se and send it back immediately. I mean, this is treacherous right here. And I can't make this up. And that's why I'm showing you guys this because I'm getting a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions all the time on the stories that I deal with on a daily basis. And a lot of times guys will say, well, that can't be real. And it, it's very much real. This happens all the time. Um, and it's really scary that, like I said, I'm more concerned now about the novices getting involved with the genre. Uh, they see the potential. They love the idea of manufacturing at smaller scale. And then they go to look at the electronics and it terrifies them. And then they look for a vendor to, to you know, subcontract out some of the work, make it a little easier. And this is what they get. I mean, you guys work hard for your money. And I have said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not the cheapest. I don't pretend to be the cheapest, but I'll say this. You get what you pay for. The videos I've got posted show my work. I'm not hiding anything. This is terrifying. So, again, please be careful. I thank you all for your support. Take care.
Um, I'm not going to post their information, but I will show you pictures. And again, you can see how this is done. It's seamless. Again, this double wall heat shrink, just so you guys are aware, this does feature adhesive inside there. So this is basically bonded to the cable, okay, as it should be for protection in terms of uh, durability and also for proper insulation and wear. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to mention is I get a lot of guys that want to use my regular spindle cable and they don't want to buy long actual pieces of it. Well, guess what? We've got uh, six foot, six and a half foot uh, pieces of this. Most of it's remnants from uh, previous rolls. And again, I believe these are $20 with a full spindle cable kit. Uh, something to think about if you guys can afford to have that six foot radius from your machine and again doing it properly I know a lot of you guys that when I say are doing it properly are usually encapsulating their VFD in a metal enclosure Which is best to do for EMI purposes even if you are using a double shielded cable um, This is an easy way to save money. I can tell you right now $20 between all the heat shrink that's included of course with the ring terminals the silicone uh, shield ring uh, lead it's all included, including shipping. You're not going to touch that price. I know that for a fact. And again, on actual double shielded cable, we do have the Mylar foil. We do have the timbrated copper, uh, integrated shield drain. Very, very uh, easy kit to work with. And again, very popular. I've sold literally, I think, almost 400 of these packages. So uh, for those of you that want to get by um, and can, I should say, get by with smaller uh, length pieces, this cable is highly, highly recommended. Check it out. Um, other than that, I wanted to thank you guys all for your support. I've got a couple new products coming. Um, I've got a new drive that will be coming shortly that I feel is going to really, really, really be something many of you are going to want to look into, mainly because it's, uh, it's got some very, very unique principles unlike anything I've ever seen. And knowing uh, many of you and knowing that you know me, um, I don't sleep. I always look for the latest technology. This is a lot to be said. So keep, keep your eyes out for a forward video of that. It'll definitely be uh, soon. Overall, if you guys have any questions, again, you'll, you know, you'll see my contact information at the beginning of the video and at the end. Um, and you'll see it in the description below along with the links to, once again, the uh, smaller spindle cables in uh, general format and, of course, DS flexion uh, plug cables. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your support. Take care.